Greetings everyone, this is Mr. Mall, and this po- in this podcast I'm going to go over how to correctly use an instrument to make a measurement based upon that instrument's level of precision. Now every instrument has a certain level of precision and it's basically based upon how many divisions there are uh, or graduations on that instrument. The more divisions or graduations on the instrument, the more precise the instrument is. So whether it's a graduated cylinder or a ruler, um, each piece of in, uh, each instrument we use to take a measurement has a certain level of precision and so I'm going to show you in three steps how to uh, find an instrument's level of precision. So the first step is we need to find the smallest division on the instrumentation, the value and the unit. Uh, so I have a couple different examples here. Uh, let's say I have my ruler. We'll start there. And on this ruler I have centimeters, 23, 24, 25. Each one of those centimeters is divided up into 10 millimeters. So one millimeter is the smallest division. Now I could divide uh, millimeters by two and go to the second step. Um, I could take one millimeter and divide it by two. And when I divide that by two, I get 0.5 millimeters. And so what this would mean is that I would have to stop my estimate. This is step three. Estimate the measurement to the nearest um, to the nearest quantity found in step two. So what that means is I'm going to stop my measurement at this decimal place. Um, it's either going to be 0.5 millimeters or I'm going to say it's on the dot, 0 0.0 millimeters. So let's say I had some, um, I'm measuring a pencil here or something, you know, I'm, and I'm measuring this, and so I look over here, and I'm trying to figure out, okay, what is this? And I'm going to try my best to fall here, 27.1234, looks like about 27.4, uh, actually it looks about 27.4 centimeters, which means it's 274 millimeters. And what I'm going to do with that number, 274, is because it's on the dot, I'm going to go ahead and estimate my measurement to that, um, to that decimal place that I did from that step a second ago. So I'm going to actually go to that decimal place there. And I'm going to say it was on the dot. So I'm going to estimate that's 274.0 uh, millimeters. Okay. Now when you divide this number by 2, uh, what that does is it gives me what's called the error range. Okay. So you would see this measurement uh, plus or minus 0 0.5 millimeters. Okay. What that means is that is my error range of that measurement. So you could go and measure that and you may measure it to be 274.5. You may say it was halfway in between and that's okay because with this instrument the error range is plus or minus 0.5. That means that most measurers are going to, um, if, if the pencil really is 274 millimeters long, um, with that instrument you're going to be plus or minus 0.5 um, depending upon how you estimate. So we always call that last digit Remember, that's our, our uncertain digit. I know for sure that it's at least 274, and that last one represents the uncertain digit of the one that, as a measurer, you, you make a guess on. That's the one that's uncertain. Um, you also can do this and take it to millimeters, uh, excuse me, meters. So, for example, if I took one millimeter and I wanted to convert that to meters, okay, so I'm going to try to convert that to meters. Well, one millimeter, milli just means 10 to the minus third. So one millimeter is equal to one millimeter. See how I did that? So if I multiply this out, I'm going to get 0 0.001 meters is the same thing as a millimeter. I can follow the same procedure. Divide that by two, and I'm going to get 0 0.0005. That's going to be our error range. So we're going to stop all of our measurements at that decimal place. So I could take that same measurement in meters and I could say, well, that's 0 0.274. We agreed it was at least 274. And then if it was on the dot, I would put a zero here. And if I thought it was halfway in between, I'd put a five. So I always end with a zero or a five at that last digit. So there's my answer. Now when I compare these two, you'll notice that they both have four significant figures. Uh, this instrument is giving us precision to four significant figures, and that last one is, remember, our uncertain digit. And this measurement over here, I've actually said it was about halfway in between, um, but it would be okay too if I said 0 0.02740.
Okay, it's all in that error range. So plus or minus 0 0.0005 would be my final answer. Okay, you can do this with any instrument you want. Um, you know, let's say for example here, I don't even have a unit on this, but let's just say this is a, a miles per hour or something. So I look at my smallest division, it's one mile per hour. So I'm gonna go ahead and divide that by two. And so my error range is plus or minus 0 0.5 miles per hour. And so my answer is going to stop at that decimal place. And so I look at this here and I'm going to say this looks about 55 and it looks like it's about halfway. So I'm going to say 55.5 .5 miles per hour plus or minus 0 0.5. Okay. What that means is, is that because that is my error range, um, that that last decimal place is where I'm going to stop my answer. And notice that those, where my answer stops and the, the error range are going to be the same place. And if you recorded this, you may say, you know, I don't really think it's halfway. If you recorded 55.0, that would actually be acceptable as well. It's in the error range of that instrument. Um, you'd say it really wasn't halfway, so I'm going to say it's 55.0. So this is how we can use uh, an instrument to measure. Um, this is always going to help us when we're trying to figure out, well, how many sig figs should I have? Do steps one, two, three. Find the smallest division on the instrumentation, divide it by two, and then we're going to estimate the measurement to the nearest quantity uh, or the nearest decimal place uh, found in step two. And it's going to end in a zero or five. All right, that's all uh, a wrap up on measurement techniques, and I hope that that was helpful.